Well, thanks guys. Welcome to another OurAutoExpert.com video produced by Test Miles. If you're interested in SUVs and interested in performance, we have got the perfect German SUV for you. This is the brand new Audi SQ5. We're going to put it on road and find out whether it's worthy of your dollar. All right, so the most exciting part of your week is the fact that we actually have Anthony Garbus in the car with us to talk about the new Audi SQ5. Uh, Anthony, this is a vehicle that Audi is very proud of. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, SQ5 is really, Q5 as a whole, the family is one of our most important models. It makes up a quarter of our sales each year. Um, lots of people have been waiting for the Q, the SQ5, mm -hmm. but they've been a lot of men. Yeah, when we look at the buyer for an SQ5 or a Q5, you're just about half, 50-50, a little bit more, 54% male. When you go to an SQ5, you're about 79% male, and you're also younger, so you're usually more down towards the lower 40s, majority buyer. Is this and because we're irresponsible? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, it's really people buy this car for performance and driving dynamics is one of their key uh, reasons, so obviously then they skew towards an SQ5. But when you look at the Q5 as a whole, we actually skew younger than most everyone uh, when we look at 30 to 35, we have about like 13%, which is higher than any other premium manufacturer in the same segment. Uh, so that makes this car obviously desirable for the hip and trendy. Yeah, that's what we like to think Audi is as a whole. Yes, actually you are you know, not far wrong nope, there. That's, that's what uh, we look for. All right, so let's talk about this versus the Q5. Yep. We have uh, taken a ride in the Q5. We've talked about that. Uh, yeah. We've had we that explained, yes, yes, in Mexico. But this is the next generation of the Q5 with a more sporty uh, yep. look, feel, and driving dynamic. What can't we see has changed. <laughs> if you're going Q5 to SQ5, you're going to see a, a few things. One, there's body styling, of course, right. visual differentiation between the cars. Hardware-wise, brakes. You have very large six-piston front calipers on every S model. Uh, and you, you decided to do that after you rode with me a couple times? Yeah, you <laughs> scared me to death. So I said, I need bigger brakes. Right. So uh, Germany said, okay, Anthony, we'll give you bigger brakes. We value your life. Nick Miles ruined uh, me. Nick is a, uh, yeah. <laughs> um, so you have the brakes. You also have a sport air suspension option, which this car is equipped with okay. for SQ5. That gives you 100 millimeters, so about four inches of uh, ride height adjustability with this car. And then uh, you, of course, the motor, right? The heart very S car is the motor, and this is a new single turbo uh, V6. Same motor and transmission that you see in the new S4 and S5 as well. But this, in a sense, too, is a bigger vehicle it is. Than, than those, and so do you to get the dynamic performance out of this that you get out of the S4 and S5? You know, really now, when you look at, there used to be a much bigger disparity between a sedan and an SUV in terms of performance. Not just acceleration, but like handling, you know? And now with these new the new chassis, with the new five-link suspension in the front and in the back, and uh, uh, driving dynamics for a normal person between an SQ5 and an S4, uh, the line is very thin. It's right. when you start to really push the car, then yes, you have a lower center of gravity, you have less weight, and those are things that come into play. But I mean, driving around every day, it's very similar. And I, I was just about to say, the only thing I notice that's really different between this and the S4 and the S5 is the fact that when I corner at speed in this, it feels differently yep. than those cars do. But pretty much how I'm driving right now, apart from sitting several inches higher yep. than I do, this is really a sports car SUV. It, it is, and I mean, and you get the, every other benefit that goes along with it, right? You're sitting higher, which everyone likes to sit higher so they can look over other people, easier to get in and out of, and then you have crazy amount of car capacity, 60.4 cubic feet in this car with the seats folded. So if you're looking for one vehicle that can do everything, uh, we're driving right now. So when you look from the front, the different main thing you'll see is this big aloe optic blade sitting across the bottom of the vehicle. So right here, unique to every S car. Also you have different lower air intake grills. These are open because each side feeds an auxiliary radiator. Then on the grill, you have these alu optic uh, bar blades, where there's two of them, so we call it double uh, blade bars in the front grill, which for the front of SQ5, those are your big differentiators. On this vehicle, every SQ5 comes standard with LED headlights, so you always have LEDs. You have the SQ5 badge also on the grill. 
what do you decide for the US to do with this car that's different from the rest of the world? So you get some decisions in your department to, yes. to do things differently. So we just pulled up next to a Canadian Audi, yep. which, uh, because we're on Vancouver Island, which wasn't authorized by you. And you said, oh, I, I don't have well, that, I, I don't do that, you know, I do this, and you know. When it comes to North America as a whole, US and Canada are relatively similar, because we have similar uh, safety regulations and uh, the overall build of the cars is for the North American regions, which includes right. Canada. Canada has their own packages, and I have my own, because they need to go for their customers and their demographic, and then we have to deal with it in the US. So what did you decide to do to this car? What, what did you get the choice of doing? But really, when we get into it, um, it's packaging. So standard equipment, what options are available, S Sport package, a sport rear differential, an adaptive type of suspension, and red brake calipers, right? right? So if you see red brake calipers on any S4, S5, Rescue 5, you know you have a sport rear differential, right? and then you have adaptive suspension, and on yeah. SQ5 that is an adaptive air suspension. Yeah. If we look from the side here, you see one thing, these are the 21 inch wheels. So 21 inch wheels, S Sport package, which gives you the red brake calipers, these are 350 millimeter uh, brakes, that's 13.8 inches. Hallmark of every S car, alu optic mirrors, you'll only see these on S vehicles. On the side of the car, compared to a Q5, you have a different lower side sill, a little bit of a side sill blade there. So let's talk about that, yep. the new suspension in this. Uh, you now have this uh, added air suspension. Mm -hmm. uh, you can adjust the ride height of the vehicle. Yes. And how does that work? So every SQ5 comes standard with an adaptive suspension with a steel spring. So that lets you adjust then the uh, body control and firmness of the ride. And then if you get the S Sport package, you can get air suspension, which then gives you an air spring on top of the adaptive damper, right. which allows for the ride height adjustability in addition to uh, the firmness. The default mode is auto, which sits 30 millimeters less so than a Q5 or an SQ5 without air suspension. So if you can see one SQ5 sitting lower, you know it has air suspension. And then in dynamic mode, it'll go another 15 millimeters lower. But as you said, if you're driving above 74 miles per hour, 120 kilometers, for more than 30 seconds, it will automatically lower itself to the lowest mode for uh, efficiency, driving dynamics, uh, aerodynamics as well. And then uh, also you can change that uh, height at the back to load yes, things in. which is really great. So Ikea, right? if you're loading something heavy, which you do a lot in an SUV, uh, you push the little button on the back side of the trunk and it'll squat down another 50 millimeters. So it makes it really easy to move something heavy into the back of the vehicle. Yeah, and like, then like a body. It's not just for only going, yeah. Is that what you use for the, for the SUV? Maybe. I was just seeing how the PR guy I mean, got out of that one. <laughs> we are on a rather deserted area. I'm alone with you right now. Which is okay, I'm, I'm a little bigger than you, so I think yeah. it's okay. <laughs> Can you run fast? I, I can't, I'm way too out of shape because I sit in a car all the time now. Uh, uh, but right. it's not just going lower, it also is going higher. Okay. Right, so if you're in uh, deep snow, or right. you're gonna go off-roading, right. you can lift it up another 20 millimeters higher than a regular Q5 or SQ5. Right. So you get almost another inch of ground clearance there. Right, yeah, I mean, I like that idea too. And that was one thing that we were sort of asking uh, on the launch of the Q5 was about the uh, DACA yeah. suspension. And you were going, Ooh. <laughs> I was like, just wait, just wait. <laughs> and then on the back, you have a different S model roof spoiler, a little bit more aggressive roof spoiler. You have a different rear diffuser. And then of course the SQ5 badge on the left. Uh, let's talk about the interior of sure. this vehicle. Uh, the first and most noticeable thing is I have a flat bottom steering wheel. You do. You have a flat bottom steering wheel. Every S model you get into with Audi, flat bottom steering wheel, at least in my segment. And so uh, you see it in S3, S4, S5, etc. Um, carbon inlays. Obviously, every S car will get an option for carbon inlays. Right. And of course, we can't really see it maybe a little bit in the back, but the uh, diamond stitched, fine nap of their seats, and there is contrast stitched as well. Yeah. So, I mean, they do look very, uh, they look yeah. like I should be paying more for them. You would like say. $1,250 will get you a yeah. uh, fine nap of their seats. I have been in vehicles that charge probably somewhere close to 10 times that amount. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> for, for, the, for the diamond stitching, uh, you know, like the, they say the design Interiors. Uh, 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 oh, yes. Oh. <laughs> so, oh, oh, oh. oh. <laughs> well, you know, I mean, what, horses for courses, right? If it's Absolutely. a premium, if it, you charge for a premium, too. Absolutely. Anything else that's different on the inside of this? 
I mean, uh, we're not looking at it, or they can't see it, but you're looking at the virtual cockpit now. Right. All right, so th those are the basic changes on the inside? Yeah, for the most part. You'll see every door panel now has Alcantara inserts on it, right. which you get um, in every S model. And, uh, and then how am I going to feel the drive and hear the drive differently? Well, you're going to notice the exhaust, obviously. Right. When you have a V6, you have a distinctly different exhaust sound and engine sound as well. Right. Uh, you also can hear, when you roll down the windows, you hear the turbo uh, spooling up. Right. All right, time to uh, see how this thing performs on the road. You ready? I'm ready. Here we go. Anthony, are you ready to play 10 things you didn't know about Anthony Garbus? Wait, that I don't know about myself? No, that people don't know. That people don't <laughs> what, know. Are you gonna, what are you going to tell them? Um, well, I know. You're going to tell them. <laughs> All right. So what was your first job out of school? Uh, out of college or out of yeah, high school or what where? What was your first job uh, post-education? I was... Could have uh, been during education too, I guess. During education. Um, had a bunch of jobs through high school yeah. uh, in the IT industry. So uh, my background is information network security. You're a geek, aren't you? I'm a geek, <laughs> and I'm a geek who plays with cars. All right, that's so. awesome. <laughs> what was your first job in the automotive industry? Uh, direct for an OEM, was here with Audi. So you kind of came to Audi and never left? Yep. Um, that's pretty cool. Like, there's not many people that are that sort of into it that work at one company, right? I mean, I love the brand. I always have, so it really is like a, a dream job for me. Are you an audiophile? I am. Is that what it's called, had, an I've audiophile? Had, if you'd like to, I had quite a few uh, Audi uh, cars before I started working here. All right, awesome. Uh, what's what's in your basement that people don't know about? The people your don't crawl know space. about my crawl space. Well, I don't have a crawl space. What? And, uh, Do you have a basement? I have a lower level of my townhouse. All right, what's in there that people don't know about? Uh, it's my home theater system, <laughs> so that's about it's, it. It's pretty awesome, isn't it? It's a good, it's a good place to be. Do you watch Star Wars a lot? So, uh, here, here's if, something you don't know about me. Uh, I had never seen Star Wars. What? So I always thought Star Wars and Star Trek were the same thing until oh. I was eighteen. Yeah, I know. People everywhere uh, are they're in gonna shock. hate me now. Uh, I had no idea, but then I saw them. Like when I was in college, I watched the Star Wars movies. And then you were like, well, this is pretty cool. I think it's okay. It's oh, entertaining. So, all right, so, I saw the new one that came out what, what, last summer. Yeah, that was pretty good. It was Red pretty Ball, good. Right? I mean, I think it was good. It was also very, uh, uh, much okay. more violent than all right, the previous What don't people ones. know that you like? So that's that's question number four. What what do people don't like in question number five? What what people don't, what, what don't people know about what you'd like to watch on, on the screen, small screen in your house? So what are your... What are your go-tos? What are my go-tos? Roseanne. <laughs> Roseanne. Uh, you know it's coming I, back, right? I, I read that the other day, that they're bringing back 30 years later, Roseanne, right. with the original cast. It's such a good show. It was, it, was, it was something. It was funny. I was not ever that into it, but uh, right. it was okay. Um, what do I watch? So usually the only time I have to watch TV is on airplanes flying around to come But well, you have you a home guys. theater system. Right, come on. which just kind of sits there. So I bought an Xbox... The one. the one, right? Yeah. So I had a 360 before, right? And uh, I played it. You know, we played Battlefield with some of my friends. Oh online, my right? god! Yeah, I play so every I, night. Here's the thing: I didn't have time to play anymore, uh, and so I used it. I think three times, and then Amazon had some great deal for the Xbox One, so I bought it, sold my old one, uh, and I have touched it. Uh, twice. <laughs> so did you get Battlefield yeah. One? You've got. I did to get... buy Battlefield One. That's what oh, I played twice. All right. Is it? We need to exchange screen names, and then we I'm going to text you and say, "Come right. on, all right. we're going to play with all my buds." That'll be good. Yeah. That, you know, like I have a whole team. I'm part yep. of the OG clan. We play every night. <laughs> I have friends from all over the world. All right, then maybe You're, I will play. You honestly, yep. I'm just, I've just ruined your life. Your you your family have. will never see you because you'll be playing <laughs> Battlefield One. It's. Awesome. I will tell you though, I first Battlefield games I played were on the computer. And right. It was like the World War II Battlefield games. Right. So I know that's what they're coming out with next. I think this is which, Battlefield One is World War Two. Battlefield One isn't this the this is World War One the one that I have. Oh, well, that's right. You and I. And you're they're right. coming out yeah, with, with one for two. World War Two, yeah, yeah, right. yeah. which I think will be awesome. Yes, that's you're like correct. That's right. Yeah. You're right. Uh, all right. So, what is something about food that people don't know about you? Do you cook? 
Uh, I do not, but I eat plenty. <laughs> so. <laughs> well, that's a given for yeah, most human yeah, beings. Yeah, I, uh, I eat too much. Right. I'm, I'm guilty of the same sin. <laughs> Uh, so what what what's your favorite like weird food that you really love that people don't know about you? Weird food that I really love. Uh, I eat Mexican food all the time. Do you? Like I justify it by saying if I lived in Mexico, it would just be food, right? <laughs> so then it's not that I'm just eating so Mexican food all the time. All right, it's interesting. Yeah. Uh, if Audi, by some tragic uh, situation, did not exist, yeah. Uh, what would who would you work for? Oof. It could be anything, anyone. Oof. Um, I have also a soft spot for Porsche. You it's hard not to. A soft spot for Porsche. I had a Porsche. Loved it right. a lot. Same company, really, but yeah. Now, yeah, under under the same umbrella. Yeah, right. All right, uh, final question. What don't people know about your family? What don't they know about it? Yeah. Uh, what they don't they know? Well, I don't know. I mean, I'm 100% Greek. See, I didn't know that. No, there you go. That's why I'm bald. <laughs> yeah. I didn't know being bald was a Greek thing. Uh, pretty much. I, go, I only grow it here. I don't grow it here You anymore. know, Mariella uh, from uh, from uh, Mini is also Greek. Oh, no. Do not know her. Uh, they're, they're taking over. It's probably very cool. Uh, paella, you like that? What? As you say, no, no, no. What is it? Uh, uh, Spanakopita. Yeah. Spanakopita, yeah. yeah. Spanakopita, I mean, that's obviously. what I'm Greek food is quite delicious. Is it? And one thing, it's and Euro. apparently Mexican is too. Mix, Mexican yeah. and Greek food is what I need. And then my pet uh, peeve when people say order a gyro, a gyros. but it's, it's Euro, Euro, yeah. So Euro. yeah, there Euro. you go, kind of. Yeah, he, <laughs> Euro, Euro, Euro. There you go. Like the Euro coin. No, I, if that's how you remember it, cool. Anthony, thank you for playing things you didn't know about Anthony Garbus. <laughs> was that ten questions? Uh, I don't know. Is there more? I don't know. Was it ten questions? I think it was pretty close. I think it was maybe eight. Eight. All it's right. Okay. Two more. We've got two more. <laughs> Stand by. It's not over yet. All right. Two more things people don't know about you. Well, <laughs> no one knows anything about me, I right. guess. So, so some... tell me things that people would be totally surprised. You have a bin bag fetish. A what? Bag? A bean bag? bag? It's a trash bag. Bin fetish. bag. Yes, yeah, you're, you're so thing. British. <laughs> a bin bag. Yes. Uh, you, you have a phobia of being shut in the trunk of an Audi. I don't know. What don't people know about you? What don't people know about me? Um, what do you. Anthony doesn't know anything about myself. I don't know anything about myself yeah. either. Uh, <laughs> are, you ma- are you married to a Greek person? No, I'm not. See, isn't that a law? You have to <laughs> right. marry another yeah, Greek person. Yeah, and then uh, 100% Greek babies? Yeah, I guess yeah. so. But nope. That is some, uh, also, I don't speak Greek. I'm a bad Greek. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I speak Greek. Do you really? Yeah. You didn't know how to say Euro, but you speak Greek? Uh, uh, well, the pronunciation is different. <laughs> Greek. Alpha, beta, gamma, delta, okay. epsilon, zeta, eta, theta, iota, kappa, lambda, mu, q, I am. You know the alphabet. Uh, yeah. I had go into it. I had a classic English education. Oh. Do you didn't have a classic Greek education? I did not. Do you, do your is your life like my big fat Greek wedding? Oh, I hated that movie, right? Because everyone's like, oh, I, dad's just like your dad. I was like, no, he's not. But then it kind of like, but it kind of is. My dad always loved Windex growing up. It's, it's seriously, it's true. It's because it's blue, right? Right. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> did he dip his elbows in Windex when he had a problem? <laughs> not that I know of. Really? Not that I know of. It, it, well, all right. One more thing that people don't know about you. What's your favorite sport? Favorite sport? What do you do for to watch or to play? Well, either. Uh, Maybe both. That'll be two more questions. Oh, um, so I'm not a huge fan of football. I'm not a huge fan of baseball. Well, that's okay. Um, I find baseball super boring. Right. I don't know, right? So oh, between, football. I, I, I no, think no. Meant I mean, no, no. I love soccer. Okay, that's okay. Soccer, great. Very good, very, yeah. American football nah, doesn't really do me it for neither. me. Uh, do you like javelin, discus, hammer throwing? Good Greek I mean, sports. <laughs> the, the Olympic sports, <laughs> yes. sure. I mean, they're fine. It's fun to watch. But I mean, uh, what I love to watch is hockey. Ice okay. hockey, great. Um, it's just the fighting you really watch. Yeah, they don't fight as much as they used to. Damn it! I know. Being cheated now. And uh, um, uh, tennis, hockey, soccer, and basketball. It's not very really Greek, is it? No, it's not. No, it's not. It's okay. But the hundred percent Greek really thing is like, is it, your family disappointed? No. 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 Because you're not like married to a Greek woman and no. you're doing all Greek things. So. Okay. My sister married a, a French Canadian guy. Background. <laughs> French well, no, Canadian. No, that's, that's scary. <laughs> <laughs> he's he's a saint. Do you go to Greece on holiday? I have 
not been in a while. And the thing is, I go to Europe all the time for work and I haven't had a chance to go down to Greece when I'm in Germany. So Next time I'm soon. on an international Audi trip with you, yeah. let's take an excursion to Greece. <laughs> go, go visit my family. It's a deal. And you've just had 10 things you didn't know about Anthony Garbus. <laughs> the brand new Audi SQ5 starts at just over $54,000. The best fuel economy you'll get 24 miles a gallon on the highway. I'm Nick Miles.